Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on our updated IVF calendar, so we'll just jump right into it. So this is the October calendar. We got this on Monday, and so everything is set in stone, 100% updated. So this is October calendar. Anytime you see a green, that means it's the first day of a medicine or an activity. Red, last day of a medicine or activity. And yellow indicates a visit to the office for blood draws, ultrasound, things like that. So um, here we have the key BA stands for baby aspirin, PNV equals prenatal vitamins, and BCP is birth control pill. So they have me on the prenatal to prepare, help prepare my body for pregnancy um, and breastfeeding. I'm also supplementing with fish oils and I'm doing some minerals also. Taking the baby aspirin that thins your blood to help with to help more blood flow to the uterus. And CoQ10 is important for cellular regeneration. That helps your egg quality. I'm also taking New U, which helps increase blood flow to the muscles and soft tissue. And then Inisitol helps with insulin resistance. So it helps with blood sugar and has also been linked to higher levels of egg quality. And Inisitol and my prenatal both have folic acid in them, so assuming that all goes well and I get pregnant, I will have to change the Inisitol to a form that doesn't have folate or folic acid because I don't want to double up on that. It's actually bad for a fetus. So on Friday the 2nd, I had uh, Colton, and, Colton and myself, we actually took his mom, Julie, and we went in and did a plan of care. We met with our IVF coordinator. We talked to everything. We talked meds. We talked processes and timelines and everything. We went over this calendar. Now my calendar has changed since then just because my body did not fully cooperate as planned. But um, so that's what I did. I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all through this week. Kept doing that same thing all through here. Now here I started taking the baby aspirin and then on Saturday I started taking testosterone cream. Testosterone cream is compounded in a way that helps with the quality of your eggs. It, it helps with your androgen levels. And uh, for this way that it's, that it's compounded, it's actually very helpful to egg quality. So I've been putting that on every morning and just putting it on my inner, my forearms. So added that to my routine, my regimen, and did that all through this week. Then I started birth control pill on the 26th. Now the birth control pill, um, I took that on cycle day three and of just TMI of your menstrual cycle. So I started my menstrual cycle here. So that's cycle day one, then cycle day two, cycle day three. Start birth control pill and that tells your ovaries just to chill out. Just we're going to give you a power nap and then next month is when we start giving the shots. We just want them to just kind of chill out until we tell them what to do. So that way I don't start growing one follicle on my own because that would be bad. So start adding birth control to the regimen as well as Z-Pack. So both Colton and I are on a Z-Pack and that's to help fight any underlying infections because that's a pretty common cause of miscarriage. Sorry, I'm also throwing a toy for Winnie so it might get loud. <laughs> but he is not leaving me alone. So I um, added those things to the regimen, as you can see here, birth control pill and Z-Pack added to the calendar. Then today I had a water ultrasound. What they do is they fill your uterus full of water, and it's not un it's not uncomfortable as far as painful, but it's it's just kind of interesting because you've got a lot of they uh, put a catheter up through your cervix and fill your uterus with water. And what comes up must come down. So that is kind of a little gross. <laughs> but um, as far as, I mean, it wasn't didn't hurt or anything. And I will make another video of that visit that we did today. So they fill your uterus with water. Make sure to take pictures. There's no polyps or um, no problems with the lining. Measure all of that. So we did that. And it came back that everything looked great. So we'll continue through the 30th, stop taking the Z-Pack. The 31st is just the same as it always has been. And now we'll go to November. All right, so here's November. It's going to get really real. Here you go, Winnie. Go get it. Go get it. And, okay, so November, 
up until the third. We're staying the same. I'm going to stop taking my birth control pill. That will force me to have a period. So I'm going to have another period. I'm going to have two periods one week apart. And then what happens is on cycle day, uh, oh, and then on the 5th, I'll stop doing the testosterone cream. And then on Friday, I come in, they do a baseline ultrasound, they do a baseline blood draw, and that is to make sure before I start giving myself shots, they want to see what my body is at naturally to know what my, what my baseline is. So every single day, my estrogen is supposed to double. And if my estrogen rises more above that desired amount, they have to lower my dose. If it's too low, they have to up my dose. So that's the reason for the baseline. Also, they measure my ovaries and just look at the size before we start doing all these things. Okay, so then I start taking two shots. One shot is to have your ovaries make and create multiple follicles. Usually um, in normal, quote, normal women, they, you know, their ovaries will take turns every month and each ovary every other month will produce one mature follicle. Only one of the follicles that's growing take, makes it to maturity and then gets released. Um, and that's, that's the more typical. So what they're doing is we are stimulating my ovaries to make multiple. Each of them make multiple. Um, we pro Last time I think it was 13 each they made um, of eggs. And the other medicine is to create my ovaries from releasing the eggs. So that way they stay there until they're ready to um, trigger, uh, which is to tell them to mature. That's a whole nother shot. And then um, that's when we retrieve. So um, I'll start doing the shots. As you'll see here, 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 I'll go in for a blood draw, make sure everything's okay, come on through here, keep giving in the shots, and then I'll have uh, more blood work. So what Ganarelix is, right here, and there's question marks, depending on how my ovaries look and how the eggs are, if they are ready to mature, that's when I'll take Ganarelix, okay? So everything's set in stone until about this week. Once I take Ganarelix, then the next day is when my egg retrieval will be because what Ganarelix does is it makes your ovaries mature the eggs. It's like, okay, ripen, and the next day they're ready for picking, if that makes sense, or the two days after. So um, so this week I'll keep you guys updated, but we'll have a lot of blood work, ultrasounds, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They're scheduled. They'll have to, once we get to that point, they have to watch me really closely and make sure everything's good. So then what will happen is I will trigger one of those days, and then two days after trigger shot is egg retrieval. So what they'll do is they'll put me under kind of like a conscious sedation, nothing, um, like it's, it's, anyways, so they'll put me under conscious sedation, and then they will take a long needle and stick it from the outside of my body into each egg, and they will actually you know, kind of like suction up all the eggs. Then they will um, take Colton's sperm and put one sperm in each egg that's called ICSI. The next day after egg retrieval, we'll get a fertilization report, let you know how our eggs are doing. And then um, two days after that, we'll get an assessment of day three. And then two days after that will be embryo transfer. So by here, we'll know if we have any babies to freeze, if we have babies to put inside of me. And that would be the day where hopefully there are some embryos that have that have made it to what's called the blastocystis. Blah. Anyways, the blast stage. And if so, they will put two of two back in, and then my job is for the next two days to sit and do nothing. So, and then we wait for ten days to see if I am pregnant. So that's the quick rundown. I'll be giving you guys updates and more information as we go along. But I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Feel free to ask me questions because I love answering them. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Bye.